those, he done those miraculous things. Yes. Constantly yes. visiting me yes. in dreams and taking me out yes. and then taking him further. Yes. Come and pick this boy up at seven years old and chair it at his window. Picks him up in a chariot and takes him to heaven and meets my daddy. Okay, that's much too much, much, but that's too much. I know, I know, I know. But I believe. Yeah. He came and told me. I said, "Oh yeah, what? You met my daddy? You, my daddy took you around in heaven? Oh wow." <laughs> All right. Yeah. Matthew 16. <laughs> so you, like he said, you know, <laughs> you, you never understand him. All right. The, 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 the struggle is, is that for, to, for, to be able to, to have this, this, these, uh, these get this gifting <laughs> and then and, and, to, and allow it to go into that. Now listen. The, the, the jungle is not the, the, the life. The jungle is the world. Yeah. Let's make that a little adjustment. Yeah. The judgment is the, is the I mean, the jungle yeah. is the world. Right. Yeah. And so you, you're going to leave here and, be, and go right back into the world. Yeah. Right. Right. And so you have to learn and rise to the place of who you are. You've got to find who you are. Amen. You never find out who you are without understanding the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. Right. That's right. I think it's Philippians uh, 2. Where's Rico? Philippians 2, about the name of Jesus. And it's above every. Oh, no. These are Philippians 2 or 1 Peter. He's all right. 1 Peter. But anyway, I'm not going there. You just have to understand the name of Jesus. Uh, that was with, with Matthew. See, we got to we got to go. Oh, I got five minutes. That's right, Pastor Cliff. Okay. Amen. Okay, Clifton was so funny yesterday when you finally gave him the talk. John John brought it out. Deacon John brought it out. And then we heard from Clifton. And his own Clifton's thing is is. Uh, Watch out for my wife. Right. 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 He's doing, he's faithful. He always, he's, I mean, this has always been there. Amen. Right. That's right. He's caused problems. I always say he's my best soldier. Right. Right. Amen. Because, I mean, Cookie knows from little, from a little boy, I was training him. Yeah. Go do this. Go do that. He come right. back. And like, where's Esther? Oh, she's going to children's church. He right. loves, Esther loves children's church. <laughs> I say, no, Esther, stay here with Papa. No, oh, it's Caleb's birthday and also Anthony, my grandson's oh. birthday. Caleb and Anthony. Yeah. She said, happy birthday. We're going yeah. we, we to work out something so we can bless him. Right. You, that's what you need to try to do on, the, on your children's birthday. You need to bless them. Yeah. 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 You know, do something that shows that you love them. Yeah. Yeah. Not so much in things. That's what they, they are. Everybody yeah. wants, but yeah. it's not always that. Yeah. It's, a, it's to show that you love them. Yeah. If, that, if you get them a thing, or you know, something that it, it, that's to show them that you love them. But the yeah. most important thing is not the thing, right. but it's that you love them. Right. Yeah. 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 And that's what they need to know. But in Matthew 16, Jesus was asking them, who do men say that I am? Right. So he, they, that, you got to come to know who he is. Right. And, and out, of, out of his 12 disciples, only one, and, and by revelation, right. yeah. did they know. Uh, one of our, one of our um, dancers has been with us a long time. And I was talking about seeing Jesus, I think it was last Sunday. And she said to me, all these years, and she's heard this from her, from, from she, I think she was with us from a baby. You know? And uh, she, she said, all these years I've heard you say that, and I, and, and I, and I, I finally understood what you meant, right. or what you were saying right. when you say it. She said, I, I am supposed to be a part of that. Right. That I'm, that I am, she just got that. She's, I think she's 30 some years old. 
Oh, tw- no, no, she's more than that, Pity. That's right. <laughs> more than that. She's older than that. Huh? I, okay, I received that machine. No, no, anyway. Okay, all right, I missed it. But the bottom line is that she said, I just got it. Right. And that's, that's how, what revelation is. Right. It's when the heart, it's, it's, it has to do with the heart and the spirit, and it's complicated, but it's simple. Yeah. It's when you open up, you get it. Come on. It doesn't matter how long you've been here. Right. The Lord will, will show you. The thing about it, just because the Lord shows you, you still got to change things. Right. We had one person that was with us from long ago and saw visions and, and, but couldn't be corrected. Right. Put her in place of, of uh, leadership and couldn't be corrected. And right. the husband couldn't be neither. And then they, they were in agreement. Right. So they, they bounced out together. Right. Uh, you know, you, you, I'm, 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 I'm staying in the, in the, in the raft. You know, right? It's the spirit. You understand? I'm saying we say this natural thing, but it's the spirit. Is 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 riding the wave of the spirit of the Holy Spirit. He's constantly so the spirit's moving. The person bounces out. I can't be looking back. Come on. Right. The Lord told Lot, tell, tell everybody in your group. Which was your family? He said, "You don't look back." Right. He said, "Because I got something for the people that's in the back." Right. He said, "You don't look back." Right. He said, "The angel of the Lord is taking you out right. of this uh, Sodom and Gomorrah." Right. And he said, "And so you don't look back, right. and you tell your family not to look back." He said, he "Told them all, and he told his wife, and but her wife, his his wife." In, in her heart, right. loved Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. She loved the city. She loved the city life. Right. And she liked the lights. Right. In our days, she liked the clubs. Right. She likes the drink. She right. likes the party. Right. That's an odd day. We're breaking that down. Right. And, and, and God said, and the, and the thing about the man of God, it said that he was vexed right. in right. his soul because he went with his wife that took him to Sodom and Gomorrah. Because Abraham, the man of God, said, you pick what we said. We can't stay together. He said, and it's not that we, I don't want you to stay together. He said, we can't stay together because your group is full of strife and division. We're talking about Lot. Lot was the nephew of Abraham. God told him, Abraham in Genesis 12, when he gave him his commission and what he was supposed to do for his life, he said, you have to leave your father's house. You have to leave your country. You have to leave your relatives to a land that I will show you. So the enemy will always fight the man of God or the apostle for land. So you never understand me because I want land. Yes. Right. I'm going to get the land. Right. I'm, I'm going to have this. I'm not. I don't have to go back to Louisiana. Right. 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 That's 50 years back. Right. I don't have to go back to the country. Right. I mean, I single out my area. Right. And go back to the country. That's country bunkins. I don't have to go back that 50 years back because everything is cheaper. Right. Come on, Bishop. Right. No, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to win here. I know that Jesus won the old victory here. I know that Jesus has the area for me here. I know that Jesus will give me whatever I need here. And I'm going to apply myself here. I'm going to get a job here. I'm going to take the land here. I believe for what he, I need, he will give it to me here. And he told me to leave that system of the working for, for, for money told me to leave from that. 33 years ago now, leave from that, and I will take you and show you how I live. Come on. Leave, leave that realm and, and walk with me, and I will provide for you. Now, don't you try to do that. It's just what people want to do. They see what I do. I, I want to do that. No, you don't. Because you can't. 
uh, you will go broke. Your, your shoes will wear out. Your car will be broke. You can't fix it. And on and on and on. Don't you try to do that. Unless you walk these steps. If you walk these steps, then you can do that. But you got to walk these steps. You got to learn the way of faith. You got to be as as my son so so magnificently does when he talks about uh, staying in your post. He's one of the mighty men of God that's here in this house, and we have a few. It was so amazing that that in our our servant leaders meeting, which is a department head meeting for those that don't understand servant. That's why we call it servant leader because if you're going to lead a leader, you have to be a servant. And see, that's not in the, in those systems. That's not in the system of the world. That's kingdom. Yeah. If you take that principle into the world, which being is being a servant, then you will rise. Amen. It doesn't matter what company it is. It doesn't matter what you have to do. If you take the principles of the kingdom into into the other systems of the world, which are all evil and all wicked, you will rise. If you will get you become the cream of the crop, you will get finances. God will provide, and God uses those systems to provide for you. The fish with the gold coin in his mouth is not here amongst us. It's out there in the world. And you got to be out there. You got to be walking. You got to be talking. You got to be ready. They just come to you. They just come to you. You don't have to go nowhere. They just come to you. Always there. I'm walking. Uh, one, a person comes to me yesterday. And he's come with foolishness. I hear it out of his mouth. Something about uh, a big boy. So I hear the foolish just running, running. Do I look like a big boy? I'm thinking this in my spirit. So he comes, I just put that on him, don't say nothing. So you don't understand that. I put my spirit on him. And then I looked. And he was, he started, he started eating, eating, eating. Eating the foolishness that he said out of his mouth. Right. Yes, sir. Wow. And then he escaped. Right. So you don't understand that. Right. You see, you don't understand that. Right. You understand that. You don't understand that real. You don't understand that. It's not always you have to say. Right. I didn't say, I just looked. Right. And we looked and saw he went, oh, right. Right. escaped. Yeah. Then I moved back to where I was, and I began to talk, and then the man was telling me, no, you can't. I said, no, do you see? Right. I said, do you see? Right. Do you see me? Right. You're trying to put me in the door. Right. That's not how it goes. Right. Right. Call his name, call his name. I kept putting this, my spirit on him. Yeah. You don't understand. Yeah. You, don't, you don't know the power yeah. of Jesus. Yeah. You, you got to know the power. Yeah. You got to know who you are.
thing in their mouth. And that's when you come to Jesus, there's things in your life that you got to beat down. Yes. One of them in my life was a tree. Yes. That's right. I had a few things that I didn't know, but I knew that. And the, the tree was marijuana. And it had to be overcome. And I, I in myself, I didn't, I didn't believe that I could overcome that. Because one thing, I liked it. Oh, you want me to lie? No, I like it. And you can't be delivered of something that you like. And I had to, had to realize and come to the place where even though I like it, it does things to me that's causing problems yeah. right. in, uh, in my marriage, which I didn't know about. Right. And that's another story. Right. Right. I don't have time for that one. But what I want to say is that so when you overcome, Jesus helped me, deliver me when I, was, when I came to him and, and said, I need some help. Yeah. He didn't say, okay, this is 10 steps and right. uh, you have to do this for so many years. He said, you're free. I lose you today. I came to the altar. I lose you today. Amen. And I was free. Amen. I had, I had no, more, no more desire. Amen. Hallelujah. And then temptation would come and all that. I ain't got time for that. But every time it would come, beat it down. Amen. Then to come to find out, he gave me ministry. Yes. For that. Amen. That's why if anybody comes with me that have a vice, crushed. Amen. If you want to be. If you want to be, you, 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 if you want to keep it, you can keep it. you like it, you can keep it. It will destroy your life. It will kill you. And on and on and on. But, it, but it will, he, he, God, my point is that whatever you're struggling, you overcome, it will become a ministry. When my wife said there was a problem in the marriage, God said, well, now I'm giving you a ministry. A ministry how to pray. A ministry how to help marriages. So her... Her, her hurt yeah. and her pain yeah. right. after she was healed yeah. or being healed became a ministry. Right. Right. That's how it goes. I needed salvation, so he gave me that for ministry. Right. So my ministry is, is salvation, healing, and deliverance yes. by, the, by divine yes. power. Yes. That's how it had always been from the beginning. That is Genesis Ministries International. Yeah. That's what he gave me. Yeah. And so, whatever it is in your life, we don't we have we have time for an altar call, uh, Pastor Cliff. We can make a quick one. If you have anything, and another thing is not just uh, advice, but it could be something you're reaching for, as you heard the prophet Gabriel say, and also uh, Diana so magnificently. Yeah say about how you have to reach into the future of what God has for you and bring it into the now. Yes. Wow. You want that? Come. If you're ready to be healed, come. If you're ready to be delivered, come. And know when you come to the altar that you're leaving at the altar and you're going to leave free. Amen. You're going to leave free. If it's deliverance you need, you're going to come to the altar and you're going to leave you come here. You're going to come to the altar and then you're going to leave free. You're going to leave healed. You're going to leave being uh, filled. Healed, delivered, and filled with the Spirit. Filled with the knowledge to know that you can do it and that you will do it and that you will over overcome. I said to you, Sydney, what's Gabriel? I said to you that you have a great mind. Yes. Right. And uh, where's Bird? Okay, this is also for you and others that want to grab this. You have a great mind, Adrian, you're in it. You have a great mind where the Lord is opening your mind. Yeah. It's happening with you. Uh, I always struggle with her name, Monique. I'm getting it. It's happening with you, Christina. It's happening with you with Mercedes. It's happening with, with you, uh, Belle, and healing. 
that he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, but listen, but also to understand the madness in the books where you have this knowledge that is in a book with no wisdom with God. And if you're trying to figure out how's all that, you just get that to get your degree so you can get that money.